okay, everybody has three colors to use, and I only used, showed you two colors. Let's say you want the same shape, but you want them to be, uh, but you want to have two colors, the very same shape. Put the two colors overlapping and cut them out at the same time. If you want to do a symmetrical piece, put the two colors together, fold them in half. I need to do a little bit better job of that. Fold them in half and cut them out at the same time. And when you get through, you have two of the same shape, they're congruent. You can have them together and overlap that way and use any combinations. You can cut those out even further and make the outlines like we did before, or you can simply use these shapes on there as well. You can overlap these or cut out more along the outline and use those to overlap. So you have many, many choices, but remember to use all three colors. Okay, the hardest part is, is thinking of the idea to begin with. You have to make a decision. You're my sweet tart. <laughs> We just discovered over here that um, Orchidia had drawn a picture or a shape and cut it out but left a little bit of the pencil mark on there. A way to get rid of that is to simply take that one shape and turn it over and your pencil mark is on the back side where it doesn't show anymore. Now what can you do with those two? Mm-hmm. And? You can put it right on top. Or you can move it aside a little bit and let it overlap a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, you've done a very nice job using positive and negative space 
in your cards. You've used a, a lot of different shapes. Some of you have come up with really unusual ideas, and that's what art is all about. Uh, you've got your color schemes, your positive and negative space, and in the back of your mind, you've been thinking about what am I going to say on my card? Well, that we want to tie in as much as we can to what you're already learning in school. And you've told me that in your writing it uh, back in your classroom, that you're using commas for nouns in a series. We talked about that a minute ago. Alliteration, that's where the words start with the same letter, as many as possible, and many as possible in a sentence. And there are other things, quotation marks, others that you could use. What I want you to do now is to take about two or three minutes and using the white square of paper that you have and your pencil or pen and write the sentiment, write that feeling that you want to put in your card to send to that person for whom the card is intended. Simplicity is a good thing too. I want you to look at what you've written, look for capital letters, look for spelling, look for commas, look for anything that might be a place for error, fix it if there is one. And now with the black pen that you have, you may write your message inside your card. This is the end of our card making exercise, but remember, and answer for me if you would, what two concepts did we use? Positive, positive and negative space, good. And we used color schemes. What's one of the color schemes that we may have used? Alexis. Warm. Warm colors. Autumn. Cool. Cool colors. Celeste? Primary colors. Primary colors. Tiffany? Secondary. Secondary colors. That's all four, isn't it? Great. And then we made a message inside to go along with our card. So we have caring about somebody else. That's why we're sending the card. Two, we've covered some art concepts that you've done. And three, you've had some practice doing some writing. All of that is meaningful to you because it's got a purpose. and a list of today's supplies, or to see this episode of Art Is Online, go to kvpt.org and click on Art Is. Art Is was made possible by a grant from the Bonner Family Foundation in support of the arts and education.